Lisa. I'm doing something really scary today. Like I'm actually terrified. I'm going to see a new hairdresser. I love my old hairdresser. The one I had in Grand Falls Windsor. Jessica Temple, Temple and Sienna Spa. She made my hair very right pretty. And now, I mean, I'm in Gander, and I need to get it done, and it's just not practical. I can't just drive out there on a whim, right? And I need to get it done desperately, and I never made an appointment with Jessica before. I left Grand Falls Windsor, and now I'm desperate and need it done right away. So I gotta go someone new. And you know what? Like, you wonder why is the skin on your hair, traces on your hair? But, like, leaving a hairdresser is really, really hard. It's worse than, like, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Right? I'd rather leave them than a hairdresser. Right? Especially someone who's good that you like, like Jessica. Yeah, but, like, like, finding a new hairdresser is always hard for me. Because of after having so many bad experiences. Like, one time, I ended up with a checkerboard on my head. I'm not even joking. I bet you think so. Oh, she's just making that up. But, oh, no, I'm not. I actually literally had a checkerboard on my head. You could have played checkers or chess, right, if you're into that. But, like, I, at the time, I had these real thick chunk eyelids. And, like, I went in to get them, like, the roots started growing out, so I went in to get them touched up. And she's taking a different chunk than what was originally done. So I couldn't imagine how the roots were going to get done, right? And I was like, um, do you think maybe you should take the same section that was done previously? And she goes, no, that'll blend in. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you're the expert, right? But like, I knew. And guess what? Checkerboard hand. Dark light. Dark light. All up and down my head. I swear, like, she had it in for me. Like, there's no way that she could have went to school and learned that. Not a chance, right? She never had Mandela for a teacher. There's a teacher in Grand Falls Windsor who teaches there. Just saying her name's Mandela. She's right good. And she never did that. She never taught her how to do that. No, but, like, then there was another time when I went in to hairdresser, new hairdresser, and guess what I got? Gray hair. Problem is, never asked for it. No, asked for blonde hair, and she gave me gray. Father's like, uh, Teresa, usually people goes to the hairdresser to get the gray covered up, not put in. I was like, yeah, you know. And this was before it was trendy. Now, like, Kelly Asborn got it done very pretty. And, get, and I love gray hair on people. Like, people who let their hair grow naturally, and it's just really pretty, and, like, real silvery gray. Yeah, but I had it, and I never asked for it. And it was before it was popular. So, not a bad experiences. And there was another time that I went to a hairdresser, new hairdresser, and he actually cut my head. Not joking. Like, I was actually, like, thinking... My head's really hurting, right? Like, you know, and she, he was just like, what? Brushing it out. I was like, um, you're, excuse me, but you're hurting my head. Like, it really hurts for some reason. And when I put my hand up, blood all over my fingers. Actually, I had my head cut. So, wonder why I'm nervous about going to see a new hairdresser. And I want to get it cut off. Some might say I'm foolish because I'm too brave doing that to a new hairdresser. I should get to know them first before I let them do something crazy to my head. But, you know, what's done, you know, it's hair. It's going to grow out. No big deal. Right? I should be lucky I got some. Right? So, anyway, that's it. That's what's going on today. And I am, I will show you what it turns out like after. Right? And hopefully it'll be all right. And if not, I have a funny story to tell you. And probably the missus who's cut my hair today, she probably shouldn't watch this before she watches Does it? Yeah, she might be a little bit scared. Maybe I shouldn't post this video. Like, would you want to cut my hair after me saying that? Probably not. I wouldn't want to touch me. But anyway, maybe she won't know who I am. Right? Maybe she, she never heard of me. Anyway, we'll hope so. Anyway, maybe she'll see it after. After she does a good job and feel like, oh, look, I did it. I did it right. Yeah, anyway. I'll let you know what happened.
friends. Bye.